PSA failure post-radical prostatectomy or radiation therapy happens commonly, 30 to 40 percent of the time. Again, influenced by not only, <coughs> excuse me, PSMA PET imaging, which is now increasingly a standard of care, but new data. So Embark provides evidence of potential benefit from earlier use of either enzalutamide or enzalutamide in combination with ADT. One of the things that we need to remember is that we're taking men, generally men in their 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, and potentially applying more intensive therapy to try to improve outcome. But in those settings where we may not be curing, we're also exposing people to risk of therapies. And it's one thing to measure prostate cancer outcomes, but if you increase cardiovascular risk of mortality, it's harder to say, oh, we shouldn't be doing something, or at least we should be more thoughtful because of what might happen. It's easier to think about prostate cancer outcomes. And I think we have to be a little bit more holistic about how we think about intervention in the biochemical failure setting.